the night understand that's kind of like and I got what's up youtubers this is joy thank you for joining me for my very first YouTube tutorial everybody else is doing one I'm gonna do one too anyway um, I am going to be showing you how to do caviar nails um, or 3d nails whatever you want to call it you can't see this as good when it's in white um, but it looks really good especially in person um, I love it but yeah this is called the caviar nail or 3d nail or which I think 3d nail is more for the people with the new trend who like to wear paper plates and cups and Easter baskets on their nails which I really don't get I mean how are you washing yeah so anyway um, we'll be jumping into that you are watching this on my channel my Zosh online so if you were watching me on any other channel you're not on the right channel so come back to where you belong um, again this is my very first YouTube tutorial so please be patient with me as I am filming this editing this doing the voiceovers doing the music hopefully it if it works <laughs> and the captions titles everything through my iPhone so yeah be patient with me I have notes as you saw because I didn't want to forget anything so if you see me looking down that's why be patient with me and um, again about my Zosha online if you stay with me long enough go ahead and subscribe you'll see any types of tips that I come across I learned that I want to share I will do as much as possible my Zosh primarily is for my jewelry I like to make jewelry and um, I also have a website myzosh.com. it is in the works I'm still trying to learn how to do this website so bear with me but you can find me on Facebook facebook.com slash my Zosh um, obviously here Twitter same thing twitter.com slash my Zosh so without any further Ado, let's go ahead and get started. First thing we want to do, obviously, is grab a fingernail polish. Um, I will go over each step, but I'll also give you a little description of each thing before I get started. So it looks like it may not start till about 15 minutes or so. Every time I've tried to record some of it, I'm a little long-winded. I can't help it. I just am. So just listen, okay? Thanks. So first thing you need is your nail polish, obviously. Um, choose a nail polish you want to wear, any color, any finger, there are no wrong choices. Your creativity is your guide, whatever way you want to do it, you want it to look, you want to match your outfit, you want to match your hair, whatever. All I'm going to suggest to you is, if you know you need to wash the dishes, hand wash clothes, wash your hair, take a shower, take a bath, get in the jacuzzi, wash your dog do that first before you do your nails you want to protect your nails as long as possible you don't want to do this and then go i got to do my no do all of the wet stuff first then come back to your nails because we want to preserve this look as long as possible because it's so adorable so do it first thanks after you do all of that you're gonna go ahead and choose your nail polish color. I have on plain white and I put clear white beads on top. Um, I like to, you can use your, any polish, MAC, OPI, China Glaze, Sephora, whatever you wanna use. I would just advise to use something a little bit more cost efficient as again, you're gonna color, it's not like someone's gonna be like through the beads Oh, you have on that MAC, uh, you know, it really doesn't, you could have on a color from the Dollar Tree. No one's going to know because all they'll see is your bead design. So, um, that's really, that's what I would advise. Me, I have on a color, white, which you can almost find anywhere, but mine comes straight from Wally World from Walmart. Um, I love the brand that they carry, Pure Ice. It normally comes in a little square bottle most of their polishes are a pretty nice thick lacquer although they don't market themselves as such um, I find them to be a pretty good brand two dollars and ninety nine cents 
and they have a ton of colors. I like them. This color is called Superstar number 981CP, as in color purple. So that's what I have on my nails. In the pictures that you will see coming up, I have on purple, and only my ring fingers are done in pink. So for those colors, I got that from Walgreens. It's called Sinful Colors. I love theirs as well. They also have a thick polish. You know, it's almost uh, like a thick lacquer. They don't market themselves that way either. However, I find their polishes to be on the thicker side. Are there thicker polishes than that? Yes, obviously, but for $2.99, they're lacquered up enough. And sometimes Sinful Colors is on sale for $1.99 at Walgreens, so just watch their circulars. Um, but yes, yeah, so in that video, you will see this color. If you want to go and get the same exact colors and looks that I have, this is called Amethyst 978. This pink, which I love this pink, um, I call this a Betsy Johnson pink. I love her to pieces. This is called Pink Forever, number 313. Now, the other picture you'll see is of my daughter. You'll see her hands. She chose to alternate her fingers. She used like a apple, teal, green, and a coral. So she used also both sinful colors. She used mint apple 947 and hazard 952 so if you see those colors you like them these are the descriptions i will put the description um as you already saw hopefully it takes at the beginning of the video i'll also put the description in the middle um excuse me underneath the video so you'll see everything in the description and also at the end of the video i know how it is when you're watching a youtube video and you're trying to get the product or get whatever it is they have in the video and YouTube is buffering in the store and it's just really aggravating. Then your friend calls you on the phone. So yeah, so I'll try to put everything there so you can write your list before you even head out. So that is that. And the next thing you, you're going to need is a clear polish. It doesn't matter what brand. Um, this is LA Colors from the Dollar Tree. And this is a pretty nice uh clear polish i must say it's pretty thick it's you know and it says base coat so i guess they know why they made it so thick but you know any brand clear polish is good except for the really really cheap kind that you notice chip on their own obviously you don't want to use those throw those away you don't ever want to use them on anything what's the point so you need a clear polish a, a top coat you need some nail polish remover and a q-tip and obviously and i'll show you once we paint the base coat we want to clean up any edges obviously we don't want nail polish all the way splotches all the way down here we want it to be fresh and clean looks like a fresh manicure or a new nail design and they don't know where you got it from but if they see nail polish all on your knuckles they're gonna know that you did it and you ain't gonna be making me look bad so go on and clean it up or you can put Vaseline along the edges. This is a tip that I learned. Vaseline along the edges. Go ahead and paint your nails. And when you're done, just wipe it off. Obviously, the petroleum keeps the enamel from drying. Good little trick. I haven't tried it yet. This is what I heard somebody told me. So I'm telling you what somebody told me, okay? Now, don't blame me if your fingers is all greasy. I don't got nothing to do with that. But I thought it was a pretty good, you know, concept. So I will try it one day. Um, next thing, white hand towel or washcloth. You want the beads, if they're going to fall out, sometimes the beads will jump out of the container. Like little jumping beads. You just want them to fall into this. Obviously, the terry cloth is going to stop them from rolling anywhere as opposed to a very smooth or flat surface that they'll get everywhere. So... Go ahead and grab you one of these and I grab white you don't have to get white but because I'm cheap and when the beads do fall off I want to see them and I'm gonna shake them out and I'm gonna put them back in that container and I'm gonna use them I'm using every bit of my money some of you may just take it let them flail all over the place throw them in the trash and that's cool too you balling you got it like that put me on the program but for 
me in this house, we shall save them beads. Okay, next. Where did you get the beads, Joy? Did I tell y'all my name at the beginning of the video? I can't remember if I did, but if I didn't, I'm Joy. <laughs> so, where did I get the beads? Question of the hour. Now, I was inspired to do this period because of one of my friends on Facebook, Coffee, and she did a beautiful nails on, uh, she posted her picture and I was just like in awe. So I had to learn about it, do, did a little research. She got hers from Sephora. And as of today, May 2012, there are only three choices to choose from at Sephora. I don't know how long this video will be in circulation. Could be five months, could be five years. But again, as of today, there are only three choices. Uh, they have a black polish and a black blue bead set. They have a white polish and white beads, which is what you see here. And they have a pink polish with a confetti cupcake sprinkles, you know, color beads, pinks, blues, yellows. It's very cute and festive. Now, again, each set plus a little funnel comes with it to pour your beads back in. Each set costs $25. So all three sets, if you want to be wild and live on the wild side, will run you $75. You get a bottle of polish, which basically maybe looks a little wider than this. A bottle of polish. Your beads come in a bottle as well that's very similar to nail polish in a funnel. So 25 bucks. So let's say these two beads polish $25. Yeah. So I'm gonna let y'all have that. No tea, no shade, but I'm gonna need a little bit more for my money. I put up with too many aggravating people at work to be sitting there giving you $25 on one bottle. <laughs> so where do I get my beads from? Michaels. Pretty soon I'm gonna be looking on eBay too, so I will update you with that, um, with what I come across. But Michaels. Michaels sells their own. This is a six pack for $6.99. $7, you can get all of these. This is more of an earth tone pack. Um, copper, anti-copper, champagne, clear, silver, and ebony. So for $7, you get this. Their brand is called Recollections. So that's that. And Martha Stewart also sells her very own brand in Michaels as well. This is $16.99. Y'all know Martha's expensive. She don't play the radio, CDs, DVDs, none of that. Martha is expensive and most of the time she's worth it. So $16.99 for this 12 pack. Okay. Now Michaels also does sell another six pack with most of these colors in it. Actually these same identical colors, but I'm not going to go and pay another $7 for what I'm getting here. I'm already putting $16 into this. So that's that. Um, do not panic. If you do not see these in Michaels, these are in the scrapbooking section. Okay, so look in the scrapbooking section. Don't be alarmed if you don't see this here. Martha has her own aisle. Y'all know she balling like that. That's how Martha roll. She has her own aisle. Do not confuse these with the fine powders or the glitters. Although you could use the glitters. But that's not this tutorial. You want micro beads. If you don't see them, that means they are out of stock. Go to another Michaels or just ask them when they'll have it in. But you want micro beads, beads. And that's what we're using. So that's where you get those beads. And again, I'm going to look on eBay to see if I can get them even cheaper. But 